What's going on, y'all? Stig AJ. Welcome back to your channel. Appreciate sure you for stopping by, man. Today, I'm doing a realistic rebuild of the Phoenix Suns. They were part of a three team deal to send Damian Lillard to the Milwaukee Bucks. We'll get into the details of that trade here in a second, but just know the goal per usual is to win a championship within the first three seasons. If I can't do it during that time, then the video won't end until eventually I do. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying to get the 3K subs, so every single like, every single sub really does go a long way, and I would appreciate it. But, anyways, without any further ado, it's time to get into this video. Let's get it. So taking a look at the trade, the Milwaukee Bucks are going to get Damian Lillard. The Portland Trailblazers are going to get Drew Holiday, DeAndre Aiden, Tamani Kamara, Milwaukee's 2029 first round pick, which isn't protected, and then two pick swaps in 2028 and 2030. Then the Suns are going to get Yusuf Nurkic, Grayson Allen, Nazir Little, and Keon Johnson. And if you're noticing the ticker down low, I've already waved Keon Johnson and Ish Wainwright. The Suns have too many guys on their team, and there's been some reports that those are the two ones who are going to get cut. So I just went ahead and did that off camera. If you guys want to see my full thoughts on the trade, I did a realistic Milwaukee Bucks rebuild. That should be popping up on the screen right now if you want to check it out. But let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump into our rotation breakdown. At the one, we got Bradley Bill. If you got Devin Booker here, I'm not mad at you. I think it's pretty much interchangeable since neither of them are really a true point guard. I do think Devin Booker is the better facilitator. I mean, we saw that before Chris Paul got to Phoenix. But if I'm the Suns, I don't want D Book to be focusing on passing the ball. I want him to get buckets for us. So I think Bradley Beal is best suited for the one spot here. He's already going to have to take a smaller role, you know, when it comes to scoring. You know, we're going to leave a lot of that to D Book and Kevin Durant. Now, Bradley Beal isn't the best facilitator. He only averaged five assists per game last season. He was the top scoring option in Washington. He definitely got used to that role. So I do want to see how he's going to respond to a backseat role on a competitive team that's going to be really interesting and also another interesting thing is just how this money is going to work out man bradley beal's got four more years left on his deal he's going to be making 57 m's by the time he's 33 that's definitely a lot of money and he's on a team with devin booker and kevin durant also on big contracts i'm going to try to make this whole thing work out but honestly i don't love the fit so bradley beal definitely isn't safe for this entire video i'll tell you what though one guy who is going to be safe for this entire video is devin booker 26 years old he's been here his entire career 28 points per game last season five rebounds six assists round up around here one steal and also shot 35 percent from deep like i said devin booker is a pretty underrated facilitator but still this isn't a backcourt that really passes the ball too well and it's also not one to defense too well so again i don't really love the fit but i'm gonna try to make it work either way though i want to make sure that devin booker is a phoenix suns lifer so either way he's gonna be safe that's for sure then is the three we got josh Koji. now he's 25 years old pretty much just a defensive specialist seven points a game last season four rebounds two assists one steal one block shot 34 percent from deep which is actually a career high that's pretty encouraging and what's also encouraging is that he's on a really good deal only about three m's per season for the next two years like i said man we're a very expensive team so i'll definitely take any budget deals i can get this is a pretty good one then in the four we got kevin durant he needs no introduction 35 years old one of the best players in the nba 29 points a game last season seven rebounds five assists one steal one block shot 40 percent from deep he's definitely getting older but i mean he's aging like fine wine i'm really not too worried about regression for him in this video i think for the first three seasons he should still be one of the best players in the league and that times up pretty much perfectly with this contract he's on a three-year deal 54.71 m's by the time he's 37 years old it's a lot of money man but it is what it is i'm trying to win a championship every single year in this video so best believe kd is going to be safe and then at the five we got the newest edition yusuf nurkic 29 years old 81 overall i mean if we're just talking talent and potential the suns definitely did downgrade at the five spot with this trade but i said this in the bucks video i really do think this is addition through subtraction it just wasn't really working with deandre in the phoenix you know you can kind of tell that pretty easily he's somebody who wants the ball in his hands and when he doesn't get it he doesn't always look the most engaged but now you're bringing in yusuf nurkic a guy who doesn't need the ball nearly as much he's just going to crash the glass for you nine rebounds per game last season and he's also a pretty underrated facilitator as well which is good on a suns team that again doesn't really have a true point guard any sort of facility Facilitating is definitely a bonus from the five spot. And it's also worth mentioning that Yusuf Nurkic used to be a really good defender before he got injured. Now, am I saying he's going to get back to that level? No, I'm not. But he is playing under Frank Vogel now, a defensive minded head coach. So maybe he can bring the best out of him. And Nurkic is also on a much smaller contract, only about 17 M's this season, compared to about 31 million for DeAndre Aiden. Again, man, it's a downgrade overall wise, talent wise, potential wise. But when it comes to fit, I like Yusuf Nurkic on this team more than DeAndre Aiden. And they also got deeper with this trade. I think Grayson Allen is a nice addition. 28 years old, averaged 10 points a game last season, three rebounds, two assists, one steal, shot 40% from deep he's a nice defender as well the suns definitely need that i think this is a good addition and if it doesn't work out he's making about nine m's this season we could definitely use that as salary filler for a trade we also got eric gordon now he is 34 years old but i'm hoping he can be our spark plug out the bench 12 points per game last season two rebounds three assists one steal shot 37 percent from deep he's also on a budget deal which is really good a little bit over three m's per season for the next two years i like this addition man i think it's going to be nice for them then we got drew eubanks as our backup center also on a budget deal which is nice i think he's pretty underrated i mean seven points per game last season five rebounds one assist one steal one block shot 39 percent for deep it was on a small sample size but still we'll definitely take that he's another guy on a budget deal who i think is going to be solid for them you got to give the suns credit man they did a really good job of filling out their roster then on the bench you got bull bull now honestly i'm not too sure what to expect from him he's 23 years old second round pick in 2019 and he looked pretty decent at times with the magic last season nine points six rebounds one assist also one block he only shot 27 percent from deep but he is a pretty mobile seven footer he's definitely capable of spacing the floor honestly man my main concern is can he play within the system on offense you know don't play any hero ball and also stay fully engaged on defense i know that's probably 
lot to ask, but if he can do that, then he might be pretty solid for us. And then the last guy in our 10-man rotation is Katie Bates the up, also on a budget deal. You guys can definitely see the trend there. He had a really good year for the Spurs last season, man. 10 points per game, four rebounds, two assists, one steal, shot 39% from deep. Again, I've said this about a hundred times, but the Suns did a really good job this offseason of just filling out the roster with good solid budget guys. Katie Bates the up is definitely one of them. Then we got some guys outside the rotation. Let's go to Breeze past him here. We got Chemezi Metu. Honestly, probably is good enough to get some PT, but we already got Drew Eubanks off the bench. We don't need another center. So maybe we'll trade him. Maybe we won't. I'm not too sure. We'll just see how that plays out. Then we also got Nazir Little, who was a part of that Damian Lillard trade. 23 years old, 25th overall pick in 2019. He's shown a little bit of potential. I mean, seven points a game last season, three rebounds, one assist. Also shot 37% from deep. This is obviously an old Phoenix Suns team, so it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of youth here. But I will say though, man, if we get desperate and we need to make a trade, Nazir Little can definitely be a trade piece. He's 23 years old. He should have a little bit of value. And he's also on a pretty decent deal, about six M's this season, going all the way up to about eight and four years when he's 26. So we'll see how he progresses. I would love to keep him around, but he's definitely not safe. That's for sure. Then we also have Jordan Goodwin, who actually is a point guard. We don't have a lot of that on this team. And he looked pretty good with the Wizards last season. I mean, seven points a game, three rebounds, three assists, one steal. Not much of a three-point shooter, 32%. But still, if he progresses, he definitely can carve out a role for us. Because like I said, man, we don't have any point guards. So we'll definitely take what we can get. Then we got Adoka Azabuke, 24-year-old center, 27th overall pick in 2020. He got way by the Jazz this offseason, picked up by the Suns. Maybe there's something here if he progresses. Maybe not. I'm not too sure. But I'm not really getting my hopes up. And the same goes to Saban Lee. I mean, 24 years old, second round pick in 2020. Again, we do need point guards, but he's only a 71 overall. I doubt his ceiling is too high in 2K, so it really isn't a part of my future plans. But speaking of future plans, let's take a look at our three-year game plan starting off of season one, and that's add a point guard if necessary. I'm going to assume to the trade deadline and see how this whole thing works out with Bradley Beal at the one, but if we are struggling with playmaking, I might make a move to get a facilitator off the bench. We'll just see how that plays out. Then for season two, I want to add some budget depth. We already have that right now, but it is a lot of guys on one-year deals, so if we can't bring them back, I'm going to have to find some replacements, and obviously I'm going to have to get creative, because again, this is a very expensive team. And then for season three, per usual, buy if necessary. If for some reason we haven't won a championship by then, best believe I'm going to do whatever moves I need to do in order to make that happen. Maybe that's trading Bradley Beal. Maybe that's upgrading Houston Nurkic. I'm not too sure. But we'll just see how that plays out. Anyways, man, that's a look at our three-year game plan. Let's not waste any more time. Let's send to the trade deadline and see what this team's looking like. And it's safe to say this is definitely not working out, man. We're here at the trade deadline and we're 27 and 24, a seed in the Western Conference. That's definitely not going to cut it. So I'm looking around and trying to see what the main problem is here. The first thing that comes to mind is I think I do want to start Grayson Allen at the three. He's averaging 12 points a game, three rebounds, two assists, one steal, and he's also shooting 38% from deep. I know he's 6'4, so he is undersized, but I mean, so is Josh Kojan. and it's not like he's playing too well. Eight points per game, five rebounds, one assist, one steal, one block, and he's shooting 34% from deep. I think it is time to start Grayson Allen, or honestly, man, we might just trade for a better size small forward. That's another option. And we definitely do need some more playmaking. We're 22nd in the NBA in assists per game. I mean, we saw this coming, right? There's a lot of scores on this team. Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Bradley Beal. We need somebody who can just be a true facilitator for this offense. So that's definitely something I need to look forward to. I got a lot of work to do, man. That's for sure. Let me look around and see what trades are out there. I'm right, so I've been thinking about this for a little bit. I'm going to try to send the Zero Little and Kate Bates D up to the Sacramento Kings for DeLon Wright and Taj Gibson. The Kings are set at the point guard spot. They got De'Aaron Fox. They still got Davion Mitchell as well. So I think they would move on from DeLon Wright. What they really need is a small forward if it's their timeline. I think the Zero Little can do that. He's 6'5. He can easily move from the four to the three and for us the lawn right is exactly what we need it's got good size in the backcourt six five he's not an elite facilitator but still he's got a good assist to turnover ratio and he's also a really good defender which we definitely do need in the backcourt i think this trade looks pretty good to me let's see if they will say yes to this and they will there we go and this trade might seem a little bit weird because i know i just said i wanted to start grayson allen but i'm gonna try to send him to the indiana pacers for tj mcconnell we just need some more point guards some more playmaking some more defense in the backcourt tj mcconnell checks off those boxes i mean an a playmaking and a perimeter defense we'll definitely take that and for the pacers they got tyrese halliburton they got andrew Neymar. they're pretty set at the one. I think they would rather have a small forward because I do expect them to trade Buddy Hill pretty soon just based off all the reports that we've been getting. So Grayson Allen would be a nice fit here. Let's go and see if we can get this thing done straight up, man. Uh, They're saying though they want a second round pick. That's totally fine. That's a done deal. <laughs> That's the team, man. I know we made a lot of changes there, but I do think we look a little bit better now. We got the lawn right, Bradley Beal, Devin Booker now at the three, which I don't really love to be honest with you, but it is what it is. When you got a team that has Bradley Beal, Devin Booker, and Kevin Durant, we just have to have a true point guard in the starting lineup. There's no way around it. So that's how we're going to do things. Then we got Kevin Durant and Yusuf Nurkic as the starting five. Off the bench now, we got TJ McConnell, Eric Gordon, Josh Okoji, Drew Eubanks, and Bull Bull. I feel a lot better about this team, man. Now, we're still not the best defensively, but I mean, we got Josh Okoji, we got Eric Gordon, TJ McConnell, Yusuf Nurkic, I guess is about average, at least in 2K Sim. Then we got Kevin Durant, D-Book is about average, and we also got DeLon Wright. We're not going to be the best defensive team in the league, that's for sure, but I think we have just enough, plus a whole lot of offense, so we should be fine. Is that enough to turn this thing around, man? Let's go ahead and find out. We're going to sim the rest of this season and see what it's looking like.
so the boys are hooping after those trades man we went 49 and 33 we'll definitely take that Joel Embiid MVP let's take a look at the rest of this here uh do we have anything that concerns us it's not looking like it but that's fine what about the LNBA teams let's go ahead and check this thing out as uh let's see let's see nothing for the Suns oh well I can't complain man we're the number four seed in the Western Conference a big step up from the trade deadline we're what number eight I think that's not too bad let's go ahead and take a look at the stats now so Devin Booker led the way for us 23 points six rebounds five assists one steal and um let's see shot 39 percent from deep then we got Kevin Durant 46 percent which is crazy Brad Bradley Beal, 38%. Uh, we got TJ McConnell 42 that's nice not a whole lot of three-point shooting um, but offensively like I'm not really too worried about that it's the defense man but um anyways Kevin Durant 21 points six rebounds three assists one steal one block then we got Bradley Beal 20 points four rebounds five assists one steal one block uh let's see off the bench our spark plug Eric Gordon that's good to see 11 points one rebound two assists one steal uh not the most efficient shooting 41 percent from the floor 32 percent from deep but it is what it is and then uh we got Yusuf Nurkic and that's still 10 points 11 rebounds and also one block we'll take that and taking a look at the bench now we got tj mcconnell 10 points four rebounds five assists one steal then we got the lawn right eight points four rebounds four assists and two steals that's pretty nice yeah man this uh this team looks a lot better that's for sure make sure to pause it if you want to take a look at the rest of the stats but let's not waste any more time let's get into this playoff run so we're going up against the los angeles clippers in the first round let's go ahead and take a look at the matchup real quick as um let's see it looks like they've got russell westbrook paul george Kawhi leonard marcus moore senior and aviga zubak this is going to be tough man let me go ahead and mess around with the rotation right now uh just because we might as well so this is pretty good to me i gave more minutes to the big three and um i did take drew eubanks out of it bull bull is going to be our backup power forward slash small forward uh because that boy's hooping bro look at the per 36 17 points 12 rebounds he's not shooting the three ball well but honestly that doesn't matter to me he's been looking really good for us so that's nice anyways let's go ahead and see if that's enough to make it out of this first round as uh we're going to take this game by game per usual we do win game one let's see it is two to nothing guys uh two to one that's fine they didn't think we would sweep them but it's two to two now okay please no game seven and there we go okay so now we're moving on to the second round and we're going up against the los angeles lakers i guess we got to go through all the la teams here but anyways let's take a look at the matchup they got deandre russell austin Reeves, lebron james jared vanderbilt and anthony davis this is going to be tough man so let's go ahead and get into this as uh we win game one that's good let's see it is one to one now two to one to us let's see three to one come on man there we go a gentleman sweep of the lakers that is a really good sign and just like that we're here in the conference finals going up against the new orleans pelicans let's go ahead and check out the matchup real quick as they got cj mccullum dyson daniels brandon ingram zion williamson and Jonas valencia Yunis. i will say man in 2k24 you don't see a whole lot of crazy trades like all of these things that we're facing pretty much their starting five is the same in real life is that good is that bad i'm not too sure but that's just an observation anyways let's go ahead and get into this thing as um we should be able to beat them but you never know with 2k sam as um yeah they took the first game we bounce right back that's good two to one us let's see three to one us and there we go okay so we're here in the nba finals and look what we're going up against the milwaukee bucks man this is going to be tough you guys already know the team they got damian lillard which is still pretty crazy to me then they got pat Connaughton, chris middleton Giannis Antetokounmpo, and brooke lopez let's go ahead and get into this thing as uh we're going to take this game by game we lose game one let's see we win that one that's nice it is two to one them two to two come on man please go three to two here yes sir can we close this thing out no we cannot tough man we got a game seven here boys this is gonna be tough okay if it is close then we will jump into it i'm really hoping it is um but if we blow them out that would be great too but uh let's see it is back and forth so far we are in pretty good shape here please do not blow this thing come on man come on man okay yeah now we got this thing we got this thing in the bag phoenix let's get it man the phoenix suns have done it winning a championship beating the bucks in seven games and devin booker finals mvp 23 points six rebounds eight assists one steal shot 48 percent from deep jeez come on man i'm hyper i'm not gonna lie because we are an older team so every year that we didn't win a championship it was only gonna get more difficult i'm not gonna lie it was not looking good at the trade deadline but we made some moves and it definitely did pay off winning a championship in year one let's get it and it was bradley beal led the way for us in the closeout game 30 points seven rebounds five assists one steal one block devin booker also 30 points six rebounds nine assists uh kevin durant 25 points seven rebounds nine dimes let's see tj mcconnell that was a nice addition 13 points seven rebounds three assists and uh what about the lawn right man i mean pretty solid numbers nothing too crazy nine points five rebounds two assists three steals is really good and also one block yeah the defensive impact was a really big reason why i wanted to get him let's check out the playoff stats for some of our main guys in case you're interested bradley beal 22 points three rebounds bounce five assists one steal one block shot 51 percent from deep that is insane i wasn't sure how he's gonna fit on this 
team, but he definitely did his thing. So shout out to him. And then you can't forget about KD. 24 points, eight rebounds, four assists, one steal, two blocks. Shot 44% from deep as well. And you also got to show some love for Yusuf Nurkic, man. He was not shooting the ball well in the regular season. 37% from the floor, 23% from deep. Uh, but in the playoffs, 12 points per game, 11 rebounds, three assists, one steal, one block. Shot 42% from the floor. Still not great, but 36% from deep. We'll definitely take that. Bro stepped up in the postseason, that's for sure. But anyways, man, we got one season down, one championship. That's definitely a great start. We got two more years left, so let's go ahead and keep this thing moving. So now we're in the offseason where apparently the Denver Nuggets are the top pick in the draft. I don't know what happened there. Uh, but anyways, we do have pick number 30. Nothing too crazy. Let's go to draft night and see what that's looking like. And with pick number 30, I'll take Cody Williams, man. The younger brother of Jalen Williams, J-Dub on the Thunder. We definitely need a young small 46A to complete that position. He's got Joe Dumars all NBA ceiling. We'll take that. Let's go to make that pick. Cody Williams, welcome to the Suns. And I usually don't care about the second round picks, but Zachary Richardson is here. He's always a sudden two gay sim. So let's go to make that pick too. So we got a few guys that need to resign in free agency. The first one is DeLon Wright. One year, six M's. Will he say yes to this? And he will. There we go. We also got to bring back Eric Gordon, a one year veteran minimum deal. He says yes to that. And I'm probably pushing it, but do I have enough money to resign Josh Koji? I'm not too sure. 4.93 M's for one year. Will he say yes to this? And he will. That's a relief. So unfortunately, we don't have enough money to resign Bull Bull. I guess I got to replace him here. I'm going to try to replace him with Kelly Olinick. I don't know if we have enough money here, but this is the most I can offer him. 5.01 M's one year. Will he say yes to this? And he will. Great. And I guess we need a backup center too, because Drew Eubanks doesn't want to resign with us. That's pretty tough. I don't love it, but I guess Cody Zeller is our best option. A one year veteran minimum. Will he say yes to this? And he will. Cool. So now we're here play progression. And honestly, man, I feel like we got off kind of easy here. We do have some red arrows as you would expect, but it's nothing too crazy. Kevin Durant went down one to a 95. That's fine. Devin Booker stay put. Bradley Bill stay put. Same for Yusuf Durkic. Then we got some minus ones. And honestly, that's about it. Kelly Olynyk down one to 77. TJ McConnell 76. Delon Wright 76. Cody Zeller 75. That's really not too bad, man. Um, as you take a look at this. Oh, never mind. Eric Gordon down three to a 73. That's actually pretty tough. I'm definitely gonna have to find a new spark plug off the bench. But anyways, Jordan Good went up one to a 73. Cool, I guess. But honestly, this is not too bad. We do have a lot of new faces and we got some guys aggressing, but I still feel pretty good about this team. Let's move on to season two and try to go back to back. So here's what I'm thinking, man. I'm trying to send Eric Gordon, Zachary Richardshare, and two second round picks to the Brooklyn Nets for Cam Thomas. I think he does need a change in scenery. He hasn't had the most consistent role with the Nets so far. So if you're the Nets, you're getting Zachary Richardshare, who is four years younger than Cam Thomas, and you're getting two second round picks. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. And for us, I need that spark plug off the bench. I think Cam Thomas can be that. Let's see if they will say yes to this thing. They're saying no. Uh, let's see. I will give you guys one more second round pick here. And there we go. Done deal. I'm also going to sign Isaiah Hardestine. He's still here in free agency. Only wants a veteran minimum. That's honestly a no brainer. Let's go to make that happen. And that's the team for you too. We got DeLon Wright, Bradley Beal, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, and Yusuf Nurkic. Off the bench, you got Cam Thomas, Josh Okoji, TJ McConnell, Kelly Olenek, and Isaiah Hardenstein. I feel pretty good about that, man. If I had to make one change, it probably would be to get a better starting point guard because DeLon Wright is only a 76. Boards are going to play by ear, man. I'm going to send to the trade deadline per usual. If we need to make a move, then we will. So let's go ahead and get into it. I right, man, so we're here to trade deadline number 31 and 20, third seed in the Western Conference. That's honestly not too bad. Maybe I'll make a move. I'm not too sure, but it's going to be pretty tough because I actually can't include any of these picks in any trades. So I don't know how much I can really upgrade this roster. Let me just look around and see what's out there. So it might seem like a small trade, but I'm trying to send Cody Zeller to the Atlanta Hawks for Trent Forrest and a 2027 second round pick. They need a backup center. I need some draft capital. So let's see if they will say yes to this deal. And they will. There we go. And then I'm going to do a pretty similar trade here. I'm trying to send Reggie Bullock to the Philadelphia 76ers for AJ Green and a 2027 second round pick. They need a small forward. And once again, I need some draft capital. Capital. So let's go ahead and see if they will say yes to this thing. And they will. There we go. And honestly, I think that's it. I feel pretty good about our team this year. And if we don't win a championship, then at least we can go into the next season with some extra draft capital. So that way we can make some improvements. I think that's the right move. So let's go ahead and send the rest of this season. So he finished 52 and 30, a little bit better than last year. I guess I'll take that. Look at Doncic MVP. Let's take a look at the rest of this here. Do we have anything for the Phoenix Suns? Yes, we do. Coach of the year. That's good to see. And um, it looks like that's it for us. What about the LNBA teams? Any luck here for the Phoenix Suns? Let's go ahead and find out as um, it's not looking like it, but that's fine. So we're the second seed in the Western Conference. That's pretty solid. Let's go ahead and check out the stats now. Devin Booker led the way for us. 23 points, six rebounds, five assists, one steal. And um, let's see, he shot 43% from deep. That's great. Then we got Kevin Durant, 45%. We got Bradley Beal, 43. Uh, what else do we got here? Not a lot of three-point shooting. Kelly Olenek, 38. We definitely got to work on that next year. But anyways, let's take a look at the rest of the stats as we got Kevin Durant, 20 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, 1 block. Then we got Bradley Beal still putting up some decent numbers. I mean, he's the third scoring option, so I'm not expecting a whole lot. But anyways, 18 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, and 1 steal. Then we got Cam Thomas, who really was doing his thing on the bench for us, man. I said we needed a spark plug, and he definitely was that. 15 points, 3 rebounds, and 2 assists. We'll take that. Then we got DeLon Wright, 9 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals. That's good. Uh, Yusuf Nurkic, 9 points, 10 rebounds, and also 1 block. Nothing too crazy. Maybe we'll try to upgrade him next year. I'm not too sure. We're just so limited on draft capital. Like, there's only 
only so much we can do for our starting lineup but anyways taking a look at the bench now we got tj mcconnell seven points nothing too crazy also three rebounds five assists and one steal yeah man make sure to pause it if you want to take a look at the rest of the stats but let's not waste any more time let's get into this playoff round and try to go back to back who are we gonna face in the first round it's gonna be the new orleans pelicans okay let's go ahead and take a look at this matchup here as they got kira lewis jr isaiah joe now uh brandon ingram zion williamson and also larry nance jr it's a pretty good team i definitely am going to shorten the rotation just to be safe so let me go ahead and do this real quick so i think this looks good to me i get some more minutes to the starters and i did take isaiah harden sign out of it because kelly Olynyk can be my backup four five but anyways let's go ahead and get into this thing as um this is gonna be pretty tough but we do win game one that's good it is two to nothing guys let's see is it gonna be that easy um no it's not okay it's three to one that's fine can we close this thing out and it looks like we can okay so now we're moving on to the second round we're going up against the okc thunder who are always good like a year or two into the future let's take a look at the matchup they got shago does alexander josh katie lou door jalen williams and also Jonas valencia is now at the five i'm not sure what happened with chad Holmgren, but i feel like he gets benched a lot in 2k24 anyways let's go ahead and get into this as uh we're gonna take this game by game we do win game one that's good it is two to nothing guys uh two to one didn't think i'd sweep them but it's two to two come on man three to two us please no game seven and we got a game seven all right we're gonna go simcast here and um if it is close then we will jump into it because it's been a minute since we've done that but we win the first quarter pretty convincingly the second quarter as well yeah okay so we're gonna run away with this thing that's good as we do advance to the conference finals and now we're going up against the denver nuggets who were in the lottery last year right they got the first overall pick that's pretty insane but i guess they're right back to the top let's take a look at the matchup they got jamal murray contavious caldwell pope christian brown now starting then they got aaron gordon and nicole Jokic. let's go ahead and get into this thing as we're going to take this game by game we win game one that's good we are up two to nothing now uh two to one that's fine two to two please don't go down three two yeah we did um do i mess around with this a little bit more i think i need to right yeah let me go ahead and bump this down just a little bit uh for some of the supporting cast we're gonna keep cam thomas though yeah as we're gonna bump this up here like this this looks pretty good and just one more for Nurkic. okay so is that enough to win two games let's go ahead and find out as we do force the game seven let's go simcast man and see if we can advance to the nba finals for the second year in a row so we win the first quarter pretty easily we blew them out in the second oh yeah oh yeah it's looking good boys we are heading to the nba finals for the second year in a row and it looks like we are going to go up against the cleveland cavaliers okay so let's take a look at the matchup here as they got darius garland donovan mitchell isaac okoro evan mobley and jared allen they got 390 overall guys on their team at this point and also jared allen in 87 so this is going to be tough but let's go ahead and get into it as we're going to take this game by game per usual we do win game one let's see it is one to one okay uh two to one them yeah i kind of figured bro i think they just got our number as they do win it all that's fine it is what it is evan mobley finals mvp shout out to him so we do have pick number 28 in the draft but it's going to the brooklyn nets as a part of that kd trade that's totally fine let's go ahead and keep it moving i got a lot of guys they need to resign the first one is delon Wright, a one-year five million dollar deal he says yes then i'm going to resign tj mcconnell a one-year veteran minimum he says yes to that and i'm also going to resign josh akoji 7.5 m's two years will he say yes to this and he will that's good we still got some more signings man kelly linick a one-year veteran minimum he says yes to that and i'm also going to try to replace isaiah hardenstein with omar yard seven it's a one-year 3.6 million dollar deal and he says yes cool so now we're here play progression and we do have some more red arrows as you would expect devin booker stay put that's good but kevin durant down two to a 93 bradley beal down one to an 85 we got Yusuf nurkic down one to an 80 we do got cam thomas up one to a 79 that's good josh akoji up one to a 78 cody williams up three to a 77 we'll definitely take that but uh yeah we got some more red arrows here delon Wright down one to a 75 kelly olenic down two to a 75 we even got tj mcconnell down two to a 74 like this is pretty rough bro um aj green up one to a 73 but that doesn't do a whole lot this team needs a lot of work that's for sure but let's go to season three and try to make one last championship run so here's what i'm thinking i'm trying to send the lawn right josh akoji and a 2027 second round pick to the bulls for trey jones they got a pretty good amount of point guards here io DeSumo. they also got jalen the well javon carter i think they just want some draft capital i mean it's time to hit the reset button so you're getting a second round pick and also josh akoji you probably could flip for something else i hate to get rid of him but we do have cody williams now he's the same overall and a lot younger so that's good we just need to start in point guard man i think trey jones will be really nice for us he's a good facilitator good assist to turnover ratio so let's see if they will say yes to this deal uh they're saying no i will give you guys one more second round pick i really hate to do it but let's see if they will say yes and they will there we go we do need to back a point guard now and i see mike conley sitting here free agency he's 38 years old so he definitely is getting up there but he's still a 77 overall and all he wants is a better minimum that's really the most important thing so let's make that happen mike conley welcome to the team and we also need to back a power forward i'm gonna sign rose o'neill a one-year veteran minimum will he say yes to this and he will there we go that's the team for your three we got trey jones bradley bill devin booker kevin durant and Yusuf nurkic off the bench you got cam thomas we got mike conley now cody williams rose o'neill and also omar year at seven i think ideally i would upgrade a guy like Yusuf nurkic at the five but again i'm so limited in terms of draft capital i do have one more second round pick in my back pocket so that's good let's just send to the trade deadline if i need to use it then i will we'll see what happens
I'm Ansu, we're here to trade deadline number 29 and 21, fifth seed in the Western Conference. To be honest with you, man, I don't really see us catching up with these younger teams. You know, the Houston Rockets are 35 and 16, they look pretty good. Then you got the OKC Thunder, 33 and 17, they also look really good. I mean, we also got like the Charlotte Hornets, the Detroit Pistons, the Pacers. It's a lot of really good young teams. I don't want it to seem like I'm kind of phoning it in for this last year, but at this point, I think I just want to save my draft capital because at some point we do have to think about the future. So we're just going to ride it out, man. Let's save the rest of this season and see what it's looking like. I meant so he finished 15 and 32. Honestly, still pretty decent. Lamella Ball MVP. Let's take a look at the rest of this here. Uh, do we have anything that concerns us? No, we don't, but that's fine. What about the all NBA teams? Let's take a look at this here. As uh, we haven't gotten any love this video, and that trend's gonna continue, but it is what it is. Anyways, with a number five seed this time around, let's take a look at the stats real quick. Devin Booker led the way for us once again. 20 points, six rebounds, six assists, one steal, and um, he shot 39% from deep. Then we got KD 41%. We also got Bradley Beal 40. We got Cam Thomas 35. We got Trey Jones 40. We got a little more three point shooting but it is pretty top heavy anyways let's take a look at the rest of the stats as uh kevin durant 18 points seven rebounds four assists one steal one block then we also got bradley bill still doing his thing as well 16 points that's pretty solid three rebounds four assists one steal one block and also shooting really efficiently so shout out to him for that then we got cam thomas also doing his thing off the bench 13 points three rebounds and two assists and then we got trey jones 12 points four rebounds four assists and also one steal uh let's see what about cody williams our young guy nine points five rebounds two assists one steal one block that's honestly not too bad man the uh three point shot still needs a lot of work but it is what it is and what about mike conley here nine points and four assists that's pretty solid i'm not too mad at it anyways make sure to pause it if you want to take a look at the rest of the stats but let's get into this last playoff run so it looks like we're going to face the minnesota timberwolves in the first round here i don't think we played them at any point in this video yet so uh let's go ahead and take a look at the matchup as they got dj wagner anthony edwards Jaden mcdaniels carl anthony towns and rudy gobert this is a pretty good team i'm going to shorten the rotation right now i might as well just to be safe and i guess the cp already did that for me i don't know what that's all about but anyways we fixed that up here as i did take royce o'neill out of it to make it a nine man so let's go to get into this as we're gonna take a game by game per usual we do lose game one uh let's see we bounce right back that's nice we win that game uh did not mean to go sim cash that's my bad but uh let's see two to two okay it is three to two them come on man i already shortened the rotation here and uh we do lose in the first round that's pretty tough so we give it our best shot again man i was really limited in terms of like my draft capital and by year three i really didn't want to mortgage my future too much since our championship window is closing honestly i don't feel too bad about this anymore because look at the minnesota timberwolves man making it all the way to the nba finals and winning it all that's pretty impressive anthony edwards finals mvp shout out to him so like i said man i feel like we did pretty decent here i mean we are an older team at this point you know kevin durant 37 bradley beal 32 yusuf nurkic 31 i mean even Devin Booker. 29 at this point but we got a few young guys here we got cam thomas 24 trey jones 26 so young ish and uh cody williams i guess is like our pride and joy 21 years old he should be pretty good for us but either way we made it to the finals twice in this video won a championship one time i can't be too mad at that if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe again i'm trying to get to 3k subs so every single like every single sub really does go a long way and i would appreciate it but anyways man this has been tkj blessings